Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony, a machine and Twitch musician and music teacher living in Seattle. We had a vote today on YouTube for the content of this video. It was either going to be music from Final Fantasy, Red Dead, or Persona 3 Reload. Obvious winner here, so I'm excited to hear it. This is Color Night, the full version. Let's go. Oh. Before we get into the verse, let's talk about this intro. It's only 22 seconds long, but man, it's a nice, stanky groove. Just listen down to the drummer. There's a famous drummer from uh, Nashville named Rich Redman. We talk, we say it all the time in our videos. It's Money Beats, man. He wrote a book about it. These are the skills that pay the bills, but the challenge is playing that that groove. It's simple in design, but it's hard to keep it consistent, and it just it's just got to be in the pocket the whole way. It's like Half the super glue and the other half is obviously the basis. Now, I don't know if this is a keyboard basis or a real basis, but the tone is cool though. But it's the design of the line and how it works with the drummer. Mm. That's nice. But now let's talk about it and how it's relation to the rest of the rhythm section with the keyboard, the comping instruments. You got like this kind of like, this is like, you know, kind of like a, a laid back, like borderline gospel kind of funk jam. You know, the musicians could probably step out if they wanted to. But you know what I'm saying, though? It, the, the keyboard voicings are good. We got the organ sound, little soloistic ideas going on. But if you listen to the keyboard voicings, they're so open and smooth and legato versus like short and staccato in the bass line. Because obviously the bassist's primary goal is to line up with the drummer where the keyboard player is going to fill in all those gaps. And it just sounds beautiful. We'll let it go back one more time. We'll go on to the verse. I just wanted to appreciate just the, the whole theme that is being given to us here within the rhythm section. Man, that is, that is gorgeous. vocalist from the other tune it feels way different i really prefer this one i was pretty i mean i, was, I don't lie in these videos the other one was harder for me to take in I, I felt like the male vocals were cheesy these feel a lot better this is cool i also like the fact that you know at least the mix is okay let's talk about the mix the mix still feels low though like if you think about it like on a scale like one to ten like you know like the rhythm section like bass keys and drums like at a six like sometimes you want like your voice to be like an eight so it can like exist over the top I feel like his voice is still, he's like a 6.5. It's still in the middle. It's obviously on purpose because it's, you know, this is the final product. Um, you just kind of, kind of listen into the middle, but man, his articulations and delivery style, the flow just feels different than the other one, which is, which is cool, I guess, but I definitely prefer this Down one. Around, I'm gonna drop until the break it to a and go. I'm on a mission, riding up with it. Oh, I didn't hear the guitar part before. Sorry, I missed, I missed the guitar part. It was buried before. I can, I can hear it now that I'm like hyper listening in the middle for him. Do you meet you riding up? I look up in the sky, asking out a word. We never let it face me. I'm keeping good vibes. When I'm on the road, watch out for all surprises. What it provides is good and bad, but nothing. Bugger do ba, da diga do ba, da diga do ba, over the bar line and stuff. That's cool. I feel like the flow of this one vocally, his line goes really, really well with the uh, the kit, the, the drum groove that's being laid down. So that's cool. All right, let's get into the next one. Oh, good and bad, but the thing that ties is That is a nice little melodic turnaround. Okay, uh, volume-wise, I feel like she's the same in him. So it's it's consistent throughout the song so far. I feel like if we were to say, you know, like the 0 to 10, she she feels like she's like maybe a 6.8. Uh, they pull, it feels like they pull away maybe one. I don't know if the keyboards are comping the same because she feels a little bit more present than he does. Tonight, no, it's the same. 
that's funny because we add the little blues licks and the, the string stuff there and the keyboard calls back. So if anything, she's competing with more stuff. I don't know why she feels more present. Maybe it's because it's a female voice versus male. Bye. It's, it's the little things, the little call and responses, little funky jazz licks, man. It just, it gives it the character that it needs, man. That is beautiful. I like it. Is this a This is way better. Got your back. Don't you worry about that. No. It's been a good day, good night. It's gonna be a good day, good night. If that's the same dude, this feels like a completely different piece of music. This is way more of my speed. I, this, that segment felt like Tupac, to be to be honest with you. That was cool. I love, it's not really like a halftime break. They just kind of change the group up a little bit. We get we get the offbeat hits. It gives us some like just a little bit of different texture within the rhythm. And uh, I don't know. This section, I feel like I hear his voice better though. Like the mix feels a little different. I think it's just because we have those moments for the hey on the offbeat. There's just less, there's less congestion within the sound of everything. Yeah, this is cool. It's definitely better. What up? What up? So a lot of emphasis on descending licks in this tune. There's so many. We got it in the strings. We got it in the callback piano. And then right there on his verse as well. So very cool. You can, thematically, we have a lot of consistency. It's been a good day, good night. It's going to be a good day, good night. A little development in the keyboard part. Strings backing it up. Okay. There you go. Bada pweedy, bada pwa. So we're getting that that motif like all over the place. I don't think we need to rewind it because you could hear it was like a tiny piano feature, just a little bit soloistic, just real simple ideas, and you put some strings in the background. But it's enough contrast to make you be like, oh yeah, this is a different section. Okay, where do we go? Two hands meet at Zenith. Nothing comes between us. Dancing like ballet. That's way different. Under the moonlight all night long. How these plain and simple scenes get painted so vividly by mm, the flow. I just wanna stay with you. Yeah, the over the bar line stuff there. That was beautiful. Let's go back. The uh, the effect on the voice is cool. It's like it feels like a very, very different person there. I don't know. Maybe they just put a lot of effects on the voice. I'm not sure. But this little bridge, though, it definitely takes you somewhere else. And we have less, uh, like that kind of rhythm, just the glue there. And it gets a little bit more flowy. And it kind of, we, we just go to a tiny bit of a different structure for the rhythm delivery. Nothing comes between us. Dancing like ballerinas. Now starts to change a little bit. Moonlight all night long. How these plain and simple scenes get painted so vividly. Yeah, man. Gorgeous. Love it. Just right, keep going. We know this. Yeah, man. watching over me, so I'm invisible. Power to my soul. Things that used to bother me Cause your existence just lights me up yeah. You always got my back And of course I got your back Don't you worry about that now It's been a good day, good night It's gonna be a good day, good night Well then the inner heart I plead For you to talk to me I wanna hear the good and bad The stories you have As I drift across the sky The overhead turns high So good night Ooh. Yeah, man. Oh, okay. All right, that 
that was cool. I like the chord progression change. That's nice. That's really the only spot that we had that. So that's a nice variety. Now I was like hyper fixating. Like, no, I'm not a lyrics guy. If you're a friend of the channel, you know that already. But since they're like hitting me in like bright blue right there, I was looking at it and I was listening. I was like, okay, I can hear it because I'm reading it. But if I took the, you know, the subs, uh, the subtitles on the screen or the lyrics on the screen off, I would have a harder time separating the instrumental layers from the vocal layers. That's just like, because I was this whole time, I'm like, am I tripping out about the mix? I'm like, am I just making things up? No, I did for me personally, but I have such an instrument heavy ear. That's where my ear just kind of goes down because, uh, you know, on the gig, that's where you're, you know, you're really listening. I mean, you're phrasing, especially as a bass player, like you have, <laughs> you you can't, you know, you can kind of get away with other things and other instruments. You, you know, you're sitting in on the, on the gig and the drums, you, know, you can be exploratory a little bit and you don't really have, you know, there's certain alignments that are going to work on functions of a lot of different songs. But if you're a bassist and you don't play the form correctly, you know, immediately it's super problematic. So your ears are super heavy with, you know, you, whoever's playing keys, you're kind of watching their left hand and what's going on and looking at voicings. And then your ear kind of goes towards vocalists after you kind of really know where the form is going. So that's probably why my ears go to that direction. Anyway, we're, we're tangenting. We don't need it. Let's keep going. That was great. We almost got, I felt like a little brass band was going to pop out. This would be a cool one to like, I don't know if any of you go to brass band festivals. We have a couple up here in Seattle, but uh, color your night would be, would work real well in an ensemble that's playing that kind of stuff. Let's just go back and grab that again. Let's see a 325. Let's go like right, right here. That works really well. It's cool. right now i like this one significantly more than the other one so uh that's very cool let me know what else we should be looking at from this franchise all right thank you much my name is drumroll tony catch me i'm live on twitch link for all the socials down in the video description below please and thank you click the like button subscribe to the channels and catch the next one have a great day youtube thinks you want to watch one of these two videos next take it easy Bye bye